Hi everyone. In this video, I would like to show you how to create a unique Zoom meeting link that students can use to join your class video meetings. You and your students can use the same link for all of your class meetings. My goal is to show you how to go from this landing page, which is basically the first landing page from Brightspace, all the way to this landing page in five basic steps. So again, our goal is to create a widget which we'll name Zoom Meeting Link with a hyperlink. Click here to join Zoom Meeting. Step number one, mindset. Right now, what you're looking at is the landing page. And anytime you're lost, you can press course home. And so far, the only update that I've made is by renaming it, you can do it if you believe you can, training ground. So the first step is mindset. I would like to let you know that if I can do it, you can do it too. Step number two, if we begin with the end in mind and reverse engineer, we're trying to compose this Zoom meeting link widget. Now, what is a widget? Is this white box that you see on the layout. Just like the announcements widget, it's a white box. Just like the calendar widget, there's another white box, just like that. So step two, create a custom widget. I'm gonna go back to the first landing page. To create a custom widget, you go to the navigation bar, also known as the nav bar, and you hit the down chevron. Find the course admin icon. Select the course admin icon. Go under site setup. Select widgets. Now, how do we create a widget? There's a blue icon that says create widget. Now you have to give it a name. So for example, I'm gonna type in Zoom meeting link. I can also hover over properties, release conditions, content, and under content, I'm gonna type in, click here to join the Zoom meeting. When you're done, really important, you always select save and close. Again, we've created a widget. If I go back to course home, and again, course home will bring you back to the landing page. Now I'm thinking, where's my widget? I created a custom widget. I can't find it. Well, here comes step number three. Select a new layout and add the new widget. To add a new widget in this new layout, first you go to the bottom of the landing page to the right bottom corner and there are three dots, also known as more. Select more, go to manage home pages. Now, when you're creating your own homepage, if you wanna edit, if you wanna add things to it, just like the navigation bar, you need to make your own copy first. Now, how do we do that? You go to course default, hit the down chevron, and you select copy. Now, you need to apply this to your homepage. So under active homepage, you select course default copy. That's the one we just created just now. Highlight copy and select apply. Notice the bottom here, new active homepage. So I go to course home. This is the copy of the new layout that we're looking for. You go to the bottom again in the right bottom corner. There are three dots, also known as more. And now you can select edit this homepage. Now you can call this whatever you like. I'm just going to leave it as is. Our goal is to create a widget. Now think about the different layouts. We want a banner going across. So I need to select a new layout. So I go to change layout. I select change layout and I go all the way to large left panel. I'm going to put a check mark next to this uh, choice because I need that banner at the very top. And again, I'm going to hit update. Now we created a new widget. We're going to add it to the new layout. So here it says add widgets. Now, FYI, system widgets are basically all the widgets that are shared with everybody in TDSB. Custom widget, on the other hand, for example, you and I just compose this Zoom meeting link widget. So I can put a check mark next to it and I select add. Now I can hit save and close. Again, we're back on the landing page. There's the widget just like that. Now we need to move on to step number four create a zoom meeting link 
So I go to the top. Again, I'm looking at the navigation bar, also known as the nav bar, and I'm looking for the zoom icon. So select zoom. Now on the right top corner, I have to select schedule a new meeting. Now here's the most important step. When you go all the way to time zone, notice how there's a box. You can check it off next to recurring meeting. So I'll do this again. Right now it says recurring meeting. I put a check mark next to the box. Now next to recurrence, and I press the down chevron, there's a selection of daily, weekly, monthly, or no fixed time. That is the one we're looking for, no fixed time. Now notice the difference here. If I select a daily, they would look for the starting time and when you want to end this in case you want to do this every day within a certain limit. So the idea is to go to no fixed time. So that way there's no starting point. There's no end point. You can reuse this link throughout the entire course. So again, no fixed time. Now other features you can use if you like, I can turn off the video when I am entering the meeting room. I can choose both audio from the telephone and the computer and I'm going to hit save. Now, again, step four, create a Zoom meeting link. Here comes step five. I have to link this back to the widget. So I go to the top here and notice how next to join URL, I need to hover over this link and I'm going to right click and select copy link address. So this is basically copying the link. I go back to the landing page I look for the Zoom meeting link, I hit the down chevron, and I select edit this widget. Now, I go back, again, I hover over properties, release conditions, content, just like that. Now I highlight, click here to join Zoom meeting, and I need to link it to that URL. So there are three icons here, right? And the third icon, this is the insert quick link icon. I select that and I can go all the way to URL, which means I am linking this sentence, click here to join Zoom meeting to this URL. I go to URL, I press paste, and again, paste could be Command V, Control V, depending on the device, and I select insert. Again, save and close. Now I go back to course home. This will bring me back to the landing page, just like that. So again, there's the Zoom meeting link that we're looking for. And those are the five steps that we've talked about so far. So again, step one, mindset. Step two, create a custom widget. Step three, select a new layout and add the new widget. Step number four, create a Zoom meeting link. And step number five, link it. Now, we would like to over deliver. For some students, cosmetics is key. Within five seconds, students may decide if this landing page is appealing or not. And if your goal, just like my goal, is to plan according to student voice, and if we have some students who put attractiveness of the landing page as the highest priority in terms of engaging in online learning, then this bonus step is for you. Step number six. How do you make this widget so fancy it attracts paparazzi? Here's what you have to do. Go back to the Zoom meeting link, select the down chevron, and select edit this widget. Now, instead of naming it uh, Zoom meeting link, I'm going to type in welcome to day school quad three. Again, I go back and I hover over content, and I am going to do the following. So first, I have this hyperlink and next to it, I'm going to press space. I'm going to add a zoom icon. So how do I do that? I search zoom icon and say PNG. And here's the first choice. And I'm going to hover over the image and I select save, not save, copy image. Sorry, that was my mistake. S copy image. And I go all the way back and I paste this. Now again, you can drag this back to its appropriate size. 
and I need to make this a hyperlink as well. So I select insert quick link. I go to the URL. Again, I need to go back and look at the same link. So I right click this URL link, copy link address. I go back, I paste this right here, insert. Now, the second step or part two of step six is I can type in Zoom meeting link and I'm gonna change the font size. I'm gonna go all the way to font size, which is right here. I select the largest size possible, save and close. Go back to course home. And now you know how to create a unique Zoom meeting link that students can use to join your class video meetings. I hope this makes sense.